After 40 years of being closed and limiting the access of resources from both sides of Manhattan to the Bronx, High Bridge finally will be restored and opened next year. This bridge celebrates its 165th birthday this year, uh, but it has been left abandoned, neglected, and shuttered for decades. And as a result, generations of children who grew up here in the Bronx High Bridge neighborhood have been cut off from Manhattan's High Bridge Park with its huge swimming pool, ball fields, and recreation programs on just the other side of the Harlem River. But I'm happy to say those days will soon be over. High Bridge will be open for pedestrian and cyclists and will include repairing, cleaning of the bridge, reconditioning the walkway, windshield ramp lighting, and safety fence. This is a $61 million restoration for this bridge, $48 million from New York City, $13 million in federal funds, including $5 million provided our Congressman Jose Serrano. I told the young people before, enjoy today, take it all in, look at it, because it's history, it's a bridge, it's community. Before certain communities came to be here, built by other ethnic groups, by other Americans, and we've taken them and said, no, let's not tear them down, let's rebuild them, let's grow on them, let's have them grow. And so the folks in 1849 had no clue that this community now would be enjoying this bridge again. Communities, organizations, park advocates, and especially the children were excited to hear that soon they will cross the Harlem River walking or biking on this bridge with the beauty and safeness will provide. Elected officials from Manhattan and the Bronx were also part of the event. The mayor, Michael Bloomberg, introduced Johnson Fuentes, a resident in Highbridge and one of our Highbridge Historian students. She is also, you should know, part of the Highbridge Historians, an oral history project that encourages students to find out about neighborhood history by interviewing family members and local residents. The Highbridge is more than a bridge. It's one of the few places in the city that you could cross a body of water in New York City to be safe from cars and trucks. It will let people walk, run, or ride their bikes through the city's network and of greenways. It will let kids from the Bronx walk over to use the Highbridge Recreation, Recreation Center and the Highbridge Pool. It's a historic landmark and New York City's oldest standing bridge. And for people like me, it will help reconnect with our families because I can walk safely across our bridge to visit my grandmother who lives in Washington Heights. Highbridge will be a spectacular historical piece that will bring not only local residents, but people around the world to see and utilize the oldest remaining bridge that is part of the old Croton Aqueduct and the only pedestrian bridge that connects two boroughs in New York City. From High Bridge, High Bridge News, Alvaro Gonzalez. Hey. 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 Hey.